Uh, welcome. Today I want to talk about qualitative analysis. Now we have been talking about uh, the iteration and that is quantitative analysis. So today we want to look at qualitative analysis. In qualitative analysis, we have two sections where we test for organic organic compounds. That's number one and number two in organic compounds. Here we test for the in organic compounds we test for the functional groups of the the double bond the triple bond and even for the alcohols we test for organic acids and so on in inorganic compounds we test for cations and anions present we, we majorly test for cations and anions present. So, uh, sometimes it is very confusing for students to, di to distinguish between organic, organic tests and the inorganic tests. So, before you start doing anything, what you need to do is to know the reagents that are being used. In organic, where we test for ions, uh, that is cations, cations are uh, positively charged like aluminium, three positive. So these are called cations because they are positively charged. And these things like uh, the, the uh, ion, that is sulfate ions, they are negatively charged, therefore we call them anions. So, in inorganic uh, qualitative analysis, we test for cations and anions. So here, before you proceed, you have to read it through, through the question, and then check the reagents used. Where you see lead nitrate used, so you go through the reagents used. Where you see uh, to the first uh, portion, add lead nitrate, add silver nitrate, barium nitrate or barium chloride, potassium iodide, sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide. Where you see ammonium solution, ammonia solution, sometimes we write ammonium hydroxide, they have ammonium hydroxide is ammonia solution, sodium sulfate nitric acid sometimes we use acidified potassium but it is in a rare case because it is only used to test for sulfate ions but my, the major reagents that are used in inorganic inorganic where we test for cations and anions these are the major reagents that you will see so once you see you these reagents you will be sure that you are going to give the inferences you are going to infer for cations and anions only now let us go to organic let us go to organic in organic part of it there are reagents which are specific which you must see for you to know that you are doing organic one you just read it through if you see acidified potassium dichromate, you see acidified potassium manganate, and then it means, yeah. So, this reagents, bromine water, universal indicator, uh, acidified potassium dichromate, acidified potassium permanganate. So, whenever you see these reagents, you will be sure that you are dealing with organic chem and then you are supposed to infer when you are giving the inference you should know that it is either the double bond the triple bond the, 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 the saturated organic compound the organic the alcohols the carbonic acids not carbonic sorry but the organic acids like ethanoic methanoic all those acids which could be present so that's how you identify 
for example, so once you have a question like this, you are provided with solid L, carry out the test zero, write your observation and inferences in the spaces provided. So before you even look at, just read it through. Place a little solid L in a clean metallic spatula and ignite with an abundant pan. That will not simply uh, actually tell you what it is. So go to the next one. Read. Put all the remaining solid this, distilled water and shake. That one will not tell you whether it is organic. Just go down. And then you see, to the to the put two centimeters of L, liquid L, into test tube. And then add two centimeters of universal indicator. So once you have seen universal indicator, you move down again once once more to put two centimeters of it and then acidified potassium permanganate. Now that one confirms that you are dealing with organic chemistry. Another one which will confirm now is that uh, you are using sodium hydrogen carbonate or sodium carbonate. So that one will give you the hint that this one is organic chem. Now read this one, let us read this through. You are provided with N, carry out the test bureau, write your observation and inferences. So first you are told to hit, that one will not tell you. So let us go to this. You just take a spatula end full of N in a test tube and add distilled water until I have filled. Shake well and divide the solution into five portions. To the first portion, add sodium hydroxide. To the second, add ammonium hydroxide. To the third, add HCl. HCl. To the fourth, add lead nitrate, barium nitrate. So that one now confirms that this, this one is in organic. So here we are going to give either only cations and anions. There's nothing like organic chemistry here. There's no organic inference. There's no double bond. There's no triple bond here. Here we only give the cations and anions. That's how you identify the organic and inorganic qualitative analysis. Thank you.